everyone welcome back to our channel so good to have you guys back here again thank you once again for your continuous massive and huge support to this channel god bless you my people yes guys um, we are back again with a uh, more update regarding the ondo state governorship election we know results have been um, um coming in from um, the, uh, all the political parties especially the three major political parties that are battling it out that is the pdp apc and zlp but right now, guys, the update we're getting is a, it's a shocking one. Police and thugs exchange bullets at Ondo collation centers. We know uh, it's during the collation that is when rigging and manipulation and all of the malpractices, election malpractices, that is how they go on. So far, um, voting has ended and it's collation right now. And the reports we're getting right now, guys, is shocking um, that police and thugs are actually exchanging bullets at one of the Ondo collation um, centers. We'll bring you all of the details shortly, my people. But before we do, guys, please, if you haven't given us a thumbs up yet, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. Click on the like button. Don't forget to subscribe as well. Hit on the subscribe button. It really does mean a lot to us. Thank you once again and God bless you. Yes, we'll get down into the news now and grab all of the details. From what we gathered from the verified Twitter handle of the cable, there is currently an ongoing shooting at one of the collation centers in Ondo State. From what was made available to us, this happened in a primary school that is being used as a collation center of Akure South local government area of Ondo. According to our source, Collation was about to begin at the primary school by the electoral official for the governorship election result when violence broke out. When the shooting started, the policemen roared at the journalists and observers saying, Leave! It is not safe here. Leave now. Remember, today is election day in Ondo State as Ondo people decide who will pilot the affair of the state for the next four years. Major contestant at the incumbent governor Rotimi Akere Dolo of the All Progressive Congress APC and Jagede of the People's Democratic Party PDP and other minor party candidates. There's also expectations as the result from different polling units is arriving already. Wow, this is like the second time um, this um, sporadic gunshot um, is being heard earlier in the morning after the issue with um, INEC um, um, staff that they are both capsized um, um, at the Ilaje community. The next news that broke out was that um, there was sporadic shooting and um, everyone took to their heels, including INEC official. That was the, the one that occurred in the morning. But we know that time the election has not really um, started fully. Right now, election is over. Um, everyone has casted their vote and everyone is back to their various homes. Time for INEC to collate. We know we've um, received um, a, a result so far. There are about um, 3,000 and pulling units. That was what INEC stated. And we've received uh, um, over half of that result. And um, it's so surprising that it's in the middle of the collation because this, um, this pulling unit, um, it was um, in a primary school that this shooting started and it was um, reported that um, the police and the security officers there, they started screaming that all the journalists should leave, that it is not safe. You can imagine um, the intensity and the kind of tension in that primary school. Very surprising. But what is the essence of this shooting? Right now, um, no one has been uh, held accountable or responsible for the thugs. Uh, we know um, INEC raised concerns just today. In the morning as well, yes, they did raise concern that um, uh, a thugs were being imported from Kogi State. But they did not point fingers to who, which party was responsible for those thugs that were import, uh, imported from Kogi State. And right now, what we're getting is that thugs, these same thugs that were alleged to have come from other uh, other states, they are now exchanging uh, um, gunshots with um, um, police officers, security officers who are guarding and securing the, the, the polling station, the coalition um, centers. It's quite surprising and unbelievable. We don't know who will be responsible now because APC will say it's PDP. PDP will lay the blame game again, play the blame card and pass it over. And this is how it has been from one um, counter allegations and um, all of that. So who who is the owner of the thugs? Where are the thugs coming from? Who is trying to manipulate? Who is trying to rig? Because anything that would have to do with that violence, 
most probably is to scare maybe it's to even steal ballot papers that is what um they're after if those security officials were not on ground to guard um INEC um, officials who are doing the collation you can imagine what will happen they will just desert that place nobody wants to lose their life at the end of the day we might not get an accurate result from that um pulling unit but so far so good we already know how um the tend and the tide uh, how it's going we can uh, see from the results that have been released so far that um, APC, however, APC is leading. It looks like um, they're leading. That's the incumbent governor, Akira Dolo, wrote to me, is leading with a lot of, um, with high votes, followed by the People's Democratic Party, PDP, Jegede. We know ZLP is part of the race as well because it's a three-horse race. The, the, uh, the election is, uh, this, this battle is basically between these three political parties. However, we know that there are 17 about 17 political parties, but we know very well the major uh, uh, um, actors in this um, election are these uh, major political parties, APC, PDP, and ZLP. So right now, that's the news we're bringing to you guys. It's so surprising that at this time of the day, right now, this is going on right now. Most probably, maybe the, the, the thugs who so ever um, sent those thugs must have felt that uh, there are no um, security guarding that polling unit and they can do whatever they want to come and do um stealing of ballot buses like i stated or just uh, um <laughs> all of this is election malpractice that is what is tending to but um good thing like i said good thing that security operatives they were on ground so it was exchange of gunshots exchange the police are exchanging gunshots and ready to defend the vote of the people ready to protect even the INEX official because their life matters as well. They are the ones conducting the election. They have to be kept um, safe as well. So surprising and shocking and um, what is going on right now in one of the collation centers um, in Ondo State. Guys, um, let us know what you think um, down below in the comment section. We know very well that uh, as soon as um, this report has come out now, um, um, both supporters, uh, APC, PDP supporters, ZLP, it's time to lay um, blame game to... Uh, point fingers for whoever is responsible for the shooting but we don't know like we said uh, we don't know who which party is responsible no one has been held accountable for that it's just what we're bringing right now that there's been exchange of gunfire outside and one of the ondo um, collation center and that has been between the police force and thugs Guys, let us know what you think down below in the comment section. Thank you once again. Please, if you haven't given us a thumbs up yet, do go ahead and give us a thumbs up. Click on the like button. Don't forget to subscribe as well. Till I come your way again with more updates, it's bye for now and God bless.